Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones. Uh, so yeah, we're sitting here, we're hoping to get healed so we can go try to recruit ourselves a dragon once again. But otherwise, we're also slowly but surely waiting for uh, this stupid war to end. That would be nice. It would be really good if I could actually like see what's going on. Where do I have? do I have all my dudes deployed? I do. All right, let's uh, you come up here and tell me what's going on. Oh, let's go to speed three. Yeah, I want to see what the fuck's going on up here. So we have fifteen thousand people of Lara's host. Now, who's in this war on your side? The Iron Throne, the Westerlands, the Reach. That should be more than enough to win this. Where the fuck? Game? Okay, it's auto saving. It's crashed a couple times, guys, so that's why I'm being uh, cautious when I say something like game. So somebody else is sieging over here. Is that a separate siege? Doesn't look like it. Let's come over here and see what the fuck's going on over here. Oh, so I found I found the main army. Why are you guys riding away? Curious what's going on over here. Okay, so crappy 2,000 army of randoms. Gain 15,000 piety. Sure, why not? So they just lost... Why don't you crush them? Seriously, why don't you come down here and crush these guys? Where are you going? Is there another army? Why are you going to Starpike? I'm so confused. Who are you at war with? You're only at war with this one army. Oh, I'm no longer wounded, everybody. It's time to go fight ourselves another freaking dragon. Because this is totally going to be a fantastic idea. Once our troops get into the right places, we are going to fight an army. Okay, now you're marching back north. God, I wish I was in control of the AI sometimes. You could just totally dominate them. If I had enough dudes... Um, House Husam Antilla has occupied my rightful seat. Who the fuck is Husam Attila? Why the fuck? I, no, go away. Why the frick am I gonna come all the way out here and help you out way out there? That shit is just not happening. <laughs> oh, are you back in the good lands? You are. Go away. We're gonna let uh, these these negative penalties go down to zero before we head out to to really try and, and get that dragon again. I wish I could see what was going on. I know I could clear the fog with the uh, the cheats. But I'd love... Joyce is the Lady of King's Landing. Um... Yeah, I'd love to see. Love to see what's going on with this war. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna owe this guy a favor. No. Did I become proud? Proud's not a particularly great trait. Um, I do have money now, so let's uh, let's give out a reward. We at zero yet? Minus two, minus four. Okay, we got a little ways to go. I can't believe you guys just haven't come and crushed this army. It genuinely blows me away, actually. You have 10,000 men to your name somewhere. Um, where's my own person, like my smallest personal troop? 1,600 men there, holy shit. 
What about a crow's nest? How many men can I raise here? 299. Okay, this is what we're looking for. I realize this will cost me a little bit of money, but we're coming back up here to try to figure out what the hell's going on with this war. Incredibly frustrating that this war hasn't ended yet. Oh, look, you have, uh... You seriously went to war for your ancestral sword? And there's a peasant revolt. And Lara is probably going to win. And all I wanted to do was have you end this goddamn these goddamn wars so I could get the lands that belong to me returned to me. Alright, so we found the Army of the Reach, which is crushing somebody. Is the reach really down to 11,000 men? Did the game crash? Looks like the game crashed, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Uh, as you guys saw, the game crashed. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash again. That would suck. Uh, we're, we're not going to go up here again. We already sort of saw what the fuck was going on there. We don't need to see it again. Basically, these guys are doing their goddamn dan their goddamn darndest. <laughs> uh to lose these wars and this is actually pretty impressive i mean this is he's down to 20 to ten thousand dudes the north here has risen up against these guys with eighteen thousand dudes which is actually a lot less than you'd expect like jesus christ anyway yeah we're gonna come back to here all right, how, how close are we to having this done? I think that was this guy's whose army I raised. No, had to be somebody here. Yeah, that guy. So we're waiting for his his um boats to basically be happy again. Wait, we're going full boat. Fifty-one percent. The war has completely turned around. You guys finally did it. Incredibly, you should be able to do this almost instantly, but... Yeah, so all this shit needs to come back to us, but... And I honestly don't remember if it's just going to magically or not, but okay. Get the boats up. You know, it'd be really good here to build... A shipyard, but I can't afford it yet. Not until I get a castle town, an upgraded castle town. So let's get that upgraded castle town, because that will give me more money in the uh, in the uh, short term here. In the long term, actually, I don't know why I said the short term. In all the terms, we're gonna get more money. So yeah, we're going to we're going to get ourselves a dragon again, guys. Is the dragon still here? I don't know. I meant to click intrigue, not that territory. All right, uh, show me the dragons. They're both still there. All right, we're gonna go. We're going back. Um, and then what I do actually want to see is show me the owners of Valyrian blades. So Arya Stark wields long claw. Interesting. Lady Paramount. Did her brother die? Um, we're gonna check that out. Arya Stark also wields Dark Sister. Very interesting. Dickon has Heartsbane. Red Rain, Widow's Whale, Oathkeeper. Vissaro just wields a Valerian Steel Sword. All right, Crab Pincer. Love that name. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, so, Arya. Lady Paramount of the North. Nope. Lord Paramount. Lady Paramount Arwen. Let's pause here for a second.
Oh, Lady Ari of the Westerlands. Oh, I totally missed that. She inherited Longclaw, though, which is super interesting. Sorry that I got distracted there, guys. I get really in into all the, like, the lore and everything like that, so... Yeah, I got distracted. What's going on here? Lady Paramount of, of Astapor. Tristane of what? Tristane the Clueless. Alright, I'm gonna do this for once just to see if that's like a good thing to do. I'm not sure that that was a good thing to do. But anyway, we're coming here. We're gonna... Aren't there dragons here? Am I not leading this army? I'm not leading this army. Boom. Okay, now we should have some new... Yes, face the dragon. Okay, so I think we went to Arhagon last time, who doesn't like me at all. Let's try... Shit, let's try Drogon. Why the fuck not? Um... You are mine. I have failed. Sure. Um, alright, so... 50% chance that I either get maimed or died. <laughs> died? Or just get wounded again. I have been maimed. That means my, uh... That means I'm no longer going to be ever hunting for dragons ever again. And we, um... Alright, we'll go to the wedding. If I fucking die, I fucking die. I just got maimed. I'm also all the way the fuck over here, so it would be sort of some sort of minor miracle if I... If I somehow manage to get over there, but okay. But I'll use the same teleporting technology that they use on the show. So did you win your stupid war against uh, Lara? Not yet. Interesting. I was a lovely wedding and nobody fucking died. Oh, we became close friends. I kind of thought we were just about to die. <laughs> I literally thought we were about to die. Alright, so what's going on here? Oh, look. My grandson at the age of 14 just had a, a lovely, lovely wedding. Oh, apparently we have a new king? Oh, I forgot that we had a young king. So my grandson Lomas, who is patient, which is at least not the worst of all traits in the whole wide world. There's a new commander, Commander Malador. Uh, we should also be lowering our troops and our fleets. And now we sit back and think about the decisions we've made. <laughs> Not getting any dragons, because uh, we've had pretty bad, pretty bad time. I can claim Astapor. I have a claim on Astapor. Let me look at me. Me. All right. So I have strong claims that will be inherited by... And one of them is on the Kingdom of Astapor. I have apparently a strong claim on the Iron Islands. I have weak claims on Dragonstone. I would like to actually gain, try to get Dragonstone back. But it's held by his lordship and defender of the crown, Banana the Hammock. And I'm pretty sure once this war ends, a bunch of these people are going to switch sides. It's interesting that these gu this guy has decided to join the war effort after all this time. 
I would particularly just like my realm back. But that doesn't appear to be happening anytime soon. Just looking at all the stuff while I got the chance. Not a whole lot going on. I can imprison somebody. Lord Adam the Coraler can be prisoned. He's goddamn incapable or not a human. <laughs> I'm assuming he's not a human. Holy crap, E.T. is having a, like, complete... Complete, uh... Complete disintegration over here or something like that. Stiggy. Ruined castle of Stiggy. I, I know it's almost certainly not pronounced Stiggy. Yeah, that guy just got just got killed. Lord Barrick, why can't I imprison you? Weird shit is going on. Alright. Lord Barrick, you're my new master at arm. Um, Sir Dale is trying to assert my title. His Justicar is supposedly traveling around, you know, being a dick. Um, let's make him disappear. 50-50 chance, if I remember correctly, that this guy just straight up disappears. Maybe that's wrong, but I feel like it's right. And if you guys don't know... It's how you feel. All right, so one war down, four wars to go. As I said, everybody, as soon as one war ends, they all joined a different war. That's kind of the reason why I don't want to just attack right now for the good shit. What I want is to get shit. That's what I want. But that's not happening. Flora asked me, wait, who the fuck are you? I don't give a shit. I mean, sure, become temperate. That's fine. I just... Why the fuck am I... Why am I even discussing this is what I'm trying to figure out. So wait, you didn't become independent over here, did you? Lord Edis of Pike. Wait, do I have a do I have a, a bitch? No, I don't. Okay, interesting. The throne is completely in disarray. Can't you guys all just get along for five minutes so I can possibly take over? Sure. Be good. Let me I'll give you quality traits. And I won't be happy about it. King Darren across beyond the wall has 2,800 men. Sure, fight it out. Still waiting for the moment when um, they can actually do something more interesting in the north. <laughs> kind of waiting for the moment when I can do something interesting. But I've been maimed, maimed by my own foolishness and real strong desire to get a dragon. And frustration that my the realm that is mine is currently occupied by like 7 million minor forces. How many men do I personally command? 11,000. Okay. My heir. God, do you suck. And your heir, you have given the wrong goddamn focus because you suck and gave him a, I mean at least diplomacy is not the worst focus in the world but Marshall is so much better at this point in the uh, in the world I would say that all being said minus our crash this episode went pretty smoothly I mean besides getting maimed that kind of sucked uh, but that all being said though I thank you guys very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed it and I will see you all next time